so now we will see like how to create cell which means like uh, blocks like we used to call blocks in autocad the same we used to call cells in a uh, micro station so we will create some block and uh, which means cells in micro station so we will create some cells in micro station and uh, using that cell we will go for linear pattern and also like a pattern area tool so for that we need to first create some cells so i am just going to draw some small circle and then i am just going to copy it So I am trying to change the color. Okay, now all together I am selecting and I am just going for cell creation tool. So we need to go for this one, place active cell command. So in S category, click that one. So once you click now, you will get this kind of dialog box. In that, you need to click the search button. And here, you need to just go for file and you need to go for new. And where you can able to create your blocks. So I'm just going for cells. I'm just going for blocks in the braces. And which is in the format of .cel micro station cell library so save and we have the cell library now see what we have saved it will come here now you can able to create it so how to create you need to select and here you have origin so you need to click define origin and you need to give the origin for example this way and after you clicking the origin you will get this create button switched on so you need to click this create button and you need to name it. So I'm writing the name of the block tri circles. So description if you want, you can put. So I'm just going to create it. See, we will uh, get immediately the information here. So you can also see the preview of our block. Okay. Now this is the way like we should create a like a cells and after you've complete you need to switch back a normal mode and uh, you can switch off the origin so it will go away and you can take this one escape one also better you can close this also if you don't want now we have created one cell so if you want to place it you can just go here again and you can select and you can able to place somewhere so you need to select that and you need to click placement and you can able to place somewhere so you need to click this again you can place and you should click on the placement also so this is what like you can able to place the cells in your micro station file now based on this we will uh, do some hatches see here we have one box so i'm just going for a pattern area and here we have option for from cell so select that uh, from cell option you can just uh, go for and here you just uh, need to click this as pattern and then double click it So double clicking which means like you can place somewhere again going back here and then uh, from cell so so you, you need to right click and you can just go for so this is coming for placement okay So from here you need to select it. So here you need to click as pattern. When you click pattern it will change to tricircle. And after we can just close it. 
now we got the pattern as tricircle now we can just use flat method or element method so flat method means inside the click outside see we got easily so based on the cells we can able to get hatch patterns so we can customize our hatch pattern so another one we also have so circle uh, escape one so circle i am just a drawing okay why it is in blue color means it is taking this color actually by level you can click now you are just going to use so we are going to use this pattern linear pattern method select that and here you have different option that we will see later now we need to select the pattern so select and pattern you need to click and close it now you can just go for truncated and click outside see this is like a linear pattern tool this is like a truncated and the next one I am just going for so complete and then select so this is like complete so we have difference so red is outside before red is inside before so complete so next we have a so single so I am selecting selecting outside so this is like a single method so same circles I am drawing and uh, using a different uh, linear pattern. So multiple. So we also have multiple. Okay, so the multiple difference we can able to see if you have this kind of rectangles. For example, I am just going for multiple. So this is like a multiple. So the same we have. So single. So this is what the single. So again, I'm just going for complete. So complete. So we have some small differences. Again, truncated. So truncated. This one. So if you want to uh, give some scale, also you can able to give. And accordingly we will get for example 0.5 I am giving so so again I am just taking so based on the scale we will get see this is like a reduced to half scale so like this you can able to use this method but for that we need to create first cells so this option so now in this video we have seen how to create cells and how to place cells and how to use the cells to hatch pattern and linear pattern so make use of this